Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning, and of course, I've got a busy day after the weekend to do my pick and pack, but I've got a little bit of a disaster zone in the warehouse this morning. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you what I'm in for because I want to keep it real. <laughs> I could try and like put some of this stuff away before I do the pick and pack so the benches are all clean and you know you think I'm all super organized but you should know me by now and know that I'm not super organized. <laughs> but I swear there's method to my madness at the moment. So down this aisle what I did on Saturday was I've cleared two full shelves and, well, nearly a third. I haven't done that bottom shelf, but I've, I've cleared these two full shelves. Now, the, the way that I did this, these were full of bundles and a few individual books, but mainly bundles. So what I did was I go through each shelf and I would go over to the computer, I would stock take it, and then I was changing the skews so that I was filling up some of these other shelves that were half full. So I was basically condensing. Doing that stock take and condensing those shelves was eye-opening. All of these bundles on this shelf, and these are like some of these three stacks deep, none of them were listed. None of these were listed. How many shelves was that taking up and none of those bundles are listed? Uh, look, I don't know how many there is, but there's a lot. And that is quite frightening. So now not only do I have all this new inventory that I've just bought to photograph and list, I've got to redo all this. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it's really quite frightening because you start to wonder, where do these listings go? They just seem to drop off the eBay. Now, some of them, I think, do just drop off. I don't know why. It's If they're old listings, they just seem to disappear off the eBay, eBay website. Who knows? Maybe with all their glitches and they've got a lot of glitches going on at the moment. Who knows? Maybe some just drop off over the time. There's other ones where I go, okay, maybe that item is sold and then they've cancelled it before they've actually paid for it or they never paid for it. You know, they sent an offer, they never paid for it. And then the item has to relist. Well, some of those items, like if you don't remember to go in there and change the number back from zero quantity to one, they're just gone. It's like they've sold and they don't get added back into the store. And I know that is a bad habit with me. Like people cancel their orders or they just don't pay. And I forget to go back in there and update the quantity back to one from a zero. So there are some bundles that could be from that. <laughs> and, and you know, I don't know what the way around that is. I wish eBay, instead of like marking it as zero quantity, if the item is canceled or it doesn't sell, it it should just automatically go back into the store with the quantity one back there for sale, but it doesn't. We have It's just another task that we have to do and I'm bad at forgetting to do it. So that's one reason. There's another reason that could be why some of these aren't listed and it could just be my fault. Sometimes, you know, what if I've taken photos to photograph and they've gone onto my desktop into a folder and I haven't ever listed them. And then it gets to the point where I'm like, did I list that? Did that sell? I don't know. So there's a few user errors why some of this could not be listed. And I'm not going to blame all of eBay. Like that wouldn't be fair. But I do believe some of them just drop off because I know there's books here by looking at them that were listed. So who knows what the reason is. But at the end of the day, it's a wake up call that we need to be stock taking our shelves regularly, especially on the shelves where all the, the boxes or the tubs, whatever you use for your inventory, the things that have been listed for a long time, we need to keep eyes on them. So I'm going to have to deal with this lot now. And I've got a few shelves there that should help me get all the new stuff listed onto those shelves. But, you know, it's just going to be, have to keep doing this. From now on, what I want to do is every time I'm getting more batch photography in, I'm going to do the same thing, clear, clear a shelf by condensing and then work out what is listed on it and what's not because, you know, this is a problem. There's a lot of money in bundles here and there's some good bundles sitting there that haven't even been listed for sale. And I hate to think how many books are on my shelves that aren't even listed for sale and they just sit there and take up space and take up space. So yeah, even if you can only do like one box, one box of inventory or one shelf, 
If that's all you've got time to inventory, like I highly suggest doing one shelf or one box at a time, because it's massive job to go and stock take your whole store, like huge. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. It's time consuming. You've got to bring it all back, check it on the computer, match it off. I was able to go back in there. I was readjusting some of the titles and I was readjusting some of the prices. So I want to get the new stuff done first rather, and then come back to this older stuff. I lost track. <laughs> there was over 50 bundles in there anyway. Now I've also got a pile here of individual books that also weren't listed. I'm, I'll, instead of putting them down there with those bundles, I'll just add them to the pile here and get those re-photographed with the other individual books. 15 individual books not listed. <laughs> there wasn't even that many individual books on those shelves, so nearly all bundles. The fact that 15 of them weren't listed, Oh, what a stress. <laughs> so I was pretty excited with this um, haul of magazines from the book fair. It's a whole lot of Rolling Stone magazines. Got um, Harry Styles there on the front. I don't know what they're worth, but um, I think they'll do nicely for me, the old Rolling Stone magazines. You know what's funny? I just picked all my orders. Three of the orders that I picked are books that I condensed. So I moved them from one of the other shelves. I edited them with a new SKU number. Maybe I even, maybe they were ones that I altered with pricing. I can't remember, but three of them were part of that lot that I just redid the inventory on. So that seems a little bit interesting to me because those shelves that I was um, doing, doing the condensing on, they're shelves where I don't, sell very many items from regularly like there's stuff that's been on them that have been listed for a long time that I have the fresh stock going onto them so I just find it quite interesting is it a is it a coincidence or would they have sold anyway or is it did I spike those listings up a little bit by doing an edit on them even if it was just the skew did I spike them up in the algorithm a little bit because I've given them some activity who knows, I'll never know, but it's interesting and something to consider. Okay, so I've got a few international sales this morning, more than I normally get. So I'm gonna pack those orders up first because I have to weigh them and measure them and they kind of get me out of my sink a little bit. So I'm gonna do these ones first, but I'll show you them as I'm doing it. Okay, this lot here is a quite a large bundle of cookbooks and they're all on like party food. So party food and drink, party food, uh, finger food, finger food again, like, so basically yeah, just a whole lot of finger food and party food. <laughs> but I just want to show you because this is a really good example. Now, this bundle has cost the buyer $38.99. But this bundle is going to Poland. I don't think I've ever shipped to Poland. So this will be interesting. Anyway, I just want to say this order has cost me $84.49 to ship to Poland. Now with my international orders as well, I do like to double mailer them just because they've got to travel a long way. They go through many different depots. They get handled by a lot of people. So if I'm sending them in a mailer like this, then I can't push it on. <laughs> I do like to double mail it just for protection because it's going so far. And generally, like, it's expensive. If they're paying for this book, they've paid 80 odd dollars for postage. What is the total of this one? Uh, total of this order is $133, including the postage. So it's a lot of money. So I want to make sure that it's protected when it goes. So this is an interesting book. This one has been listed since May 2022 and it was listed for a really high amount of money. So this was quite a rare book and I remember doing quite a lot of research on how much to charge for this and finding out a little bit about the book. Um, it's some kind of like art photography book. It's a little bit um, dark kind of inside. <laughs> anyway, there was quite a history for a history about this book. So I listed it high, but over the over the couple of what May 2022, so it's been listed two years. I've been dropping the price, dropping the price, dropping the price. Anyway, it's finally sold for $99, and it's going across the way to Italy. Okay, so this international buyer has bought five different items from me. So I'll show you them. First up, she's bought this really large bundle 
of vegetarian cookbooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books in the bundle. This, this weighs a lot, nearly five, five kilos, 11 pounds. This bundle was worth $30. I think she sent an offer on that. Okay, what else is there? We've got this, just looking at the prices on the computer. She's got this cookbook, Shop and Cook, and that one is sold for $18. Then she's got another two cookbooks, two large, again, very heavy. She sold these ones for $26.99. And then she's bought, where are we? Okay, she's bought a pack of Mills and Boone for $25 and another pack of Mills and Boone for $30. So all of these books, ooh, this weighs almost 11 kilos. So America, Five kilos is 11 pounds, 22. This is roughly around 23 pounds. So it's actually quite heavy. <laughs> oh, I can get a gym workout here. Okay, so I have found a box. I think this box will fit this pack nicely. I'm gonna wrap it all up and I'm gonna try and send this as one big lot. It's going over to the United States. I just emptied the rubbish bin and it smells. <laughs> I don't know what I had in there. I try not to keep any food in the warehouse at all times but maybe it's like a coffee or something that's spilled in there so I'm gonna have to hose that out that's disgusting doesn't feel like I got very many orders here but I guess I had a few international posts over the weekend so I guess it just bumps them up a little bit but yes yeah, Saturday was a $900 day that was good but then Sunday was pretty low again so anyway it's all it all evens out doesn't it I like to just try and even it out. You can have these really good days and it's like woohoo, but then the next day goes down to like average or even below average and you're like, well, that sucks. So it kind of takes your really good day and your below average day to two average days. <laughs> so I guess at the end of the day, two average days is better than two low days. Okay, I'm going to blow my nose and then we're going to get ready. Okay, I never really know where the right place is to put the camera. Today you're getting it up here. <laughs> it's just that I like to be able to show you the book and show you what's sold, but I like for you to be able to kind of see me packing at the same time. Okay, guys, we are going to start the day with an absolute banger. Now, this book has sold for $69.99. I'll pop it up on the screen. So this book is called Medicine for Nurses. It is the eighth edition and it is 1960 by the look of it. But this little book, no dust cover, just an old looking standard vintage book, has sold for $69.99, Medicine for Nurses. So where's my razor? Guess what price it says inside here? $1.60. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. I need to take this away and move it over here so I don't use it. <laughs> I have to get better at using this. And someone told me that if I move it to the edge of the table like this, it'll be easier. I don't know if that's true, but let's give it a go. Because I do listen to what you guys tell me in my comments and I try and take things on board when, when I think I can. Oh my goodness. It's having a shocker. I'm telling you, the bag doesn't like the odour of the bin either. Let's go, cake pops. How much have I sold this lot for? A bundle of four cooking books. So they're all on cake pops. You know, like where you make like a round ball of cake and you put it on a stick and you make them all look pretty. And anyway, four books all on the same topic. Cake, uh, what size is this one? Medium. All on the same topic, cake. Let's go, $28.99. We've got a children's Bible up next. How much have I sold this one for? $26.99 for a vintage children's Bible. That's, a, that's an expected price. $25 to $30 is what I'm always hoping for on children's Bible like that. I've got the Australian native plants here. Now, this book has sold for $19.58. It's sold on a discount sale of some kind. 
This is annoying me here. I feel like I'm going to, maybe if I put it, I like it there. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to hit it, like I can't, it interrupts my flow of moving the parcels across to the bag. Okay, where are we up? Babies. So oh, I only picked this one up not long ago. I showed it in one of my videos. Okay, I've sold this book for $29, uh, sorry, $29, just listed in June. So that's fantastic. Well Adjusted Babies. That's the second edition. What do we got up now? Okay. We've got a book about cavoodles, the ultimate cavoodle dog manual. This one is sold for $26.99. Now do find books that are on like um, how, to tr how to train your dogs, how to, is train the word what you do when you're training a dog? Yeah, your puppy training and stuff. When you're puppy training, oh, nearly forgot to check the, inside of that one guys because I was so busy talking to you <laughs> the Southern Highlands cookbook is sold for $29.99 okay Southern Highlands is a very expensive area to live it's about an hour away from here very expensive area um, this is the recipes from the from the region and yeah I'm not surprised that one sold it for around that $30 Okay, Okay. this one is called Everyday Drinking. It's been listed since January and it's sold for $19.99. I think I've been forgetting to tell you how long everything's been listed for. Okay, okay, this one. The Theological World Book of the Bible. This one has been listed since February. It is sold for $29.99. It's got a lot of text in here. It's got some discolorization. You know, things like that, they don't really matter on some of these older books. Tom's just brought me over my um, international posting um, payments, uh, <laughs> shipping labels. I don't have a printer in here that does the international shipping labels. This is why they're a pain. I have to get the shipping label, do it email it to Tom and then he prints it out over there and then I grab it from him and it's a little bit of a pain in the butt it's frustrating for him if he's busy and I ask for help doing that I do just need to buy my own external printer and bring it over here but um yeah it's just it's on the it's on the to-do list <laughs> okay this book is called the care of people with diabetes this one's been listed since November and is sold for $29.99. I've had success with books that are on caring and, and being a carer. I guess sometimes people are thrown into that role with, with you know, unexpectedly. And um, they're seeking self-help and personal developer or self-help, you know, on how to make it work better for them. Two little books here by Duncan Lay. The um, it's part of the Dragon Sword Histories and I've got books uh, two and three. I didn't have books one. I really don't like when I've got a trilogy or a series and I don't have all three of them. And I don't know, maybe this is, maybe there's more than, um, doesn't say it's a trilogy, maybe there's more to the series. Anyway, two of them have sold for $19.99. Has been listed since November, but for a while. Okay, The Fast Diet, Dr. Michael Mosley, who obviously recently passed away. Um, so I suspect his books will sell on for a while. This one's been listed since September, only low end, only sold for $19.99. Got a bundle of Mills and Boone here listed since November. These are old vintage Mills and Boone. There's 15 of them in the bundle. These ones have sold for $35. 
I still feel awkward with this tape dispenser. 100% do I feel awkward. this one up not long ago I think it was in one of my videos um, Dr Libby's wellness wellness wisdom women's wellness wisdom <laughs> yeah that's right I did I showed it in one of my haul videos recently that one's just been listed obviously in June and has sold for $25.90 so nice fast sale Dr Libby's always sells well for me Gardening Down Under, a guide to healthier soils and plants. This one has sold for $21, been listed since February. It's not too bad. I don't think I've ever sold this book before. It's been listed since January 2022. Okay, there's a reason why I've never sold it before. One, I've never picked it up and price comped it since January, <laughs> January 2022. Okay, this little book has sold for $22. So yeah, that's obviously probably just been priced a little bit high maybe and that's why it hasn't, ooh, cha-ching, did you hear that? Looks like it's a gardening book that just sold. Okay, so the skillet book has sold for $22, so probably definitely not one that I would buy again. Okay, the complete food makeover, transform your favorite recipes from high fat to healthy fab. This one has been listed since September and has sold for $19.99. Has anyone here been noticing any eBay glitches? I, I have had so many glitches for the last few days. I was at the other day when I was trying to do my stock take, I wasn't able to load the active listing page. Like it just kept, like you'd load the active listing page, it would take about three, four minutes before the page would come up. And like all the other pages on Google were fine. Other areas of eBay that day were working for me fine, but the active listings, I could not get that page to load. And because I was doing my stock take, I was in the active listings and needed that page, of course, on that particular day, glitch after glitch. Tom's been having glitches where he can't send offers. So it just nothing, he can't send on any offers. A friend of mine, Megan, she's been having issues. Her She works in a husband-wife duo with their eBay and her husband's app is like, he can't, he can do a draft on it, but then he can't open the draft on it. I, I don't know guys what's happening with eBay. It just feels like they're forever playing around with it. The things that don't need fixing, they keep trying to fix and make it worse. The things that do need fixing never get fixed. And I kind of just feel like, what's going on I feel like sometimes I feel like screaming what's going on eBay what are you doing <laughs> like just leave it leave it like when the platform works it works well when they tinker around and change things and uh, like they don't uh, half the time the things that they do then they're, they're not even for the better when you just want to work you just want to work and when you can't control the, these things it's really hard to not like I talked about this the other day it's really hard not to let your emotions get to you when things are out of your control but it never the, it's like the concrete is now making all that noise <laughs> it's an external thing that I can't control so I've got to work ways around making my videos with the noise which sucks and just like eBay sometimes we have to go and do other tasks that we weren't actually ready to do because we can't do the tasks that we want to do because they're glitching. So frustrating, but it definitely some of them, like not being able to send offers, that's major. That's a major glitch, guys. <laughs> Come on eBay, like the offers are fantastic. We get lots of sales from sending our offers. When you take that away from us, our sales down for the day. 
Okay, here we go. This is a good book that's sold. The Food of India. This one has been listed since May 2023. However, I do have multiple books of these in my store and I do quite often sell this book. It has sold for $33.99. So it's a good cookbook on Indian cuisine. I think this was a pretty good sale. This one's just listed in June. Now it is a bundle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 books. So we've got 19 books of J.E. McDonnell here. They are vintage. They do have tear marks here. I have sold this bundle though for $51, which is excellent. I'm very happy with that price. When they're in that type of condition, there's no way I'm paying more than 50 cents a book. Oh, quiet. The concrete is a quiet. <laughs> Three bundles of Mills and Boone going out to the one buyer. Is a repeat buyer. Um, yep, it is a repeat buyer. So very grateful for that. These three bundles of Mills and Boone are going out for $80 as a combined. So that is excellent. Fits perfectly in my large mailer and she is a repeat buyer so she knows this is how I send them a lot of my a lot of my Mills and Boone customers are repeat they buy them in bulk where are we healthy fiber Okay, just a little healthy fiber, healthy living with fiber. It's basically about high fiber recipes. This one is just sold for $17.79. So that's obviously with a coupon or an offer. This one, this is a cookbook, New Great Dishes of the World by Robert Carrier. So this one has been listed since January 22. Wow, that's a long one. Has sold for $24.99. So the pricing is okay. That'll make me a $10 profit. However, it's been sitting there for two years. So it's been costing me real estate space, guys. <laughs> Now, this is a fantastic sale. This is quite a random book that I picked up. It's the Australian Defence Force School of Catering Recipes for 50 People. So it's like big bulk cooking for, you know, somebody, I guess, maybe who's at a school or doing um, a restaurant or something. But this book has actually sold for $79. And as you can see, it's, it's been made by the Australian... Royal Navy but it's just like a photocopy book and then like they've binded it themselves so it's it's definitely not like a, a high quality book or anything but very unusual how often do you see cookbooks that are for cooking for groups of 50 so yeah that's that's why definitely that stood out to me on top of being for the defense force that's just interesting so that that book definitely stood out to me I don't remember where I got it to be honest maybe it was at a book fair I just don't know I can't remember but it has been listed since September but for $79 that's awesome okay just a little one here channeling what is it and how to do it so this one has sold for $19.99 it's been listed since January I don't remember where I got it Generally, if I don't remember where I've got it, like not the Defence Force, I remember buying that, but I don't remember where. But the ones like this that I don't remember buying, they, they've probably come to me in large halls that I haven't actually chosen. 
Okay, this is the Gluten-Free Cookbook and it's a hardcover book. It's been listed since November and it is sold for $19.99. Righto, so this book is called Grub, Favourite Food Memories by Jane Lawson. Now, this book has been listed since September in 2023. It has sold for $19.99. Bit of a, this is one of those books. I have sold this book many, many times. It sells over, but $19.99 is lower than what I want and it's taken nine months to sell. So... Once upon a time, I would have kept buying that book because I know that it keeps selling. But it keeps selling by, what, nine months? <laughs> so that book is now off my list. I don't want to buy that book anymore. I'll leave that for somebody else, another reseller who wants that, that um, you know, lower books. Because uh, the, the lower books, they've got their place. They bring activity. And sometimes that's all you can get. You might only be able to get some of these lower end books. But for me, I am finding a variety of higher end books now and um, yeah, it's not really what I want. Okay, now, this is interesting. These books are called The Economist. Uh, Economist. They are a bunch of magazines. So I got these magazines for free. I listed them up for $100, quite high because there's quite a lot of them in here. I got an offer for $50. Now, I've only just listed these in June. But I just thought, you know what, $50, they've been listed like two or three weeks. I'm happy with $50. I, I got them free. I like, it's a bit of a random bundle as well. So I just was happy to take that $50. Um, so yeah, normally I wouldn't take a 50% off offer. But for that one, in that case, because it was bringing me still a high profit, I was more than happy to take the $50. This one has been listed since November and it is called Grain, A Grain of Truth, How Pollen Brought a Murderer to Justice. So, I don't know, red. That one is only sold for $19.99 and yeah, listed since November. Doesn't actually say the year next to that November. It's quite likely that that's an older November because it doesn't have the year next to it. Okay, clan. Where is this one? Oh, this is a, just a little book. Very small, vintage, faded down the spine because the rest of it's blue and this is, it's just faded, you can see it. Anyway, this book is called The Clans and Tartans of the Sc the Clans and Tartans of Scotland. <laughs> this one has sold for $24.99. been listed since January. Not too long. Okay, this is a pretty good book actually. The Great Australian Songbook and it could be used for like a music teacher or somebody. This book I bought and listed in May and it's just sold for $34.99. So that's ideal. $35.00. I would love if every sale was $35. So, perfect book. Well, this is another great book. Listed since May as well, The Handmade Loaf by Dan Leopard. Now this book is sold for $39.99. So, that's awesome. Another bunch of magazines that I got for cheap. Now these ones have sold for $34. They've been listed since January. Quite a big bundle of them, but again, $34. The six month sell through rate. Yes, please. Now this is the Best of Croatian Cooking Expanded Edition. This one is sold for $29.36. So that's a good one. 
has been listed since June 2024. So only been listed a couple of weeks. Mm, okay, this one's been listed since January. Ah, oh, this one must have come from a haul because it's not one I definitely picked up. This one is called Vanished Kingdoms the, of the Irish. Uh, listed in January and just taken an offer and sold for $17.60. So, yeah, not sure where that one came from. So this is the seventh pack of Mills and Boone that are being going out in today's mail. Seven packs, guys. <laughs> I need to get another haul of Mills and Boone. I'm gonna now that they're all listed, I'm kind of like, I need more, I need more. Okay, I'm gonna put it out to the universe. Please, universe, send me another Mills and Boone haul. Anyway, this lot has just sold for $23.75. It's on the lower end, this one. These red desire ones, they don't sell for as much as some of the other ones, so. Um, I'm just happy to get those ones moving. Okay, lucky last book, and this is quite an interesting one. As you can see, there's nothing on the cover. It's been homemade. It's got a spiral bound here. And this is a home brewing log sheet. So it's just where you do a home brew and you just log it. Brewing temperature, yeast, average temperature, batch ID, keg ID, start date, bottle date, days to ferment. Basically, just for your kegs of beers, those people who brew, brew home brew. $29.99. Okay. That's it, guys. I've just got to put my labels on my international post and... I'm done. I'm going to wash the bin out. It's smelly. I haven't got any listings done today. I was only scheduled up to the end of June. So today's the 1st of July and I've had no listings go live. So I've got to do at least 10 listings this morning, uh, this afternoon. Pretty sure I've got photos for that at home, but um, I'll just take another just to make sure. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back in here and it's going to be a big, big photo day. Massive, massive photo day. I'll film it for you. Stay tuned. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.